Hey guys, I'm so excited to share what's on the menu tonight here at Brian Morris Kitchen. We're having a hamburger soup. Well, actually we're having a deer burger soup, but if you don't have deer meat, then you can also use turkey sausage or hamburger meat in this recipe. I'm gonna give you a shot at the ingredients and we're gonna get started. So we have our deer burger. We have our spices, which are gonna include oregano, basil, parsley, black pepper, I really like this kind of salt. I don't know if any of you have that, but I really like to use this. Um, cayenne pepper. We have some carrots, some tomato paste, some crushed tomatoes, and we also have three cloves of garlic, an entire onion, and four bell peppers, and three stalks of celery. All right, guys, we've got all of our vegetables prepped. We have our carrots, all of our bell peppers, garlic, celery, and onions. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in my pot here, just kinda coating the bottom. And we're gonna add the trinity of our celery, garlic, and onions into this steaming hot pot. And we're gonna let them cook just for about 30 seconds before I add the meat. I'm gonna give them a good liberal seasoning of salt and pepper just to get all of those juices flowing out. We're gonna stir them around. Now, as these cook, they're gonna begin to get a little translucent. A couple bell peppers made in there as well. Now I'm going to throw in all of the meat. Now I'm going to do a large pot of this. So you could do half of the meat that I'm doing depending on the size you want to do. I like to make enough that I can freeze um, about half of this after we eat it. That way um, if you're sick and you're on a clean eating diet or something like that and you don't really feel like cooking, you have something reserved that you can take out. So that's always helpful. So I'm just gonna mix this around. Now, if you're using hamburger meat or any meat that is gonna produce um, some fat, you're gonna wanna drain this before you add anything else to it. Now this deer meat, if you're using deer meat that um, has just been processed by itself and nothing else, there should be no, no fat that comes off of this. So I won't need to drain this, but if you're using hamburger meat, you will need to drain it. Now I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna leave it on medium low for about 10 minutes or until the hamburger meat is done. Okay guys, so we've got our um, meat completely done through and through. That's what you wanna do. I've had to switch to a bigger pot because everything would not fit. I'm gonna put one can of crushed tomatoes in. Gonna also add a little more salt and pepper to that. We're gonna put in some tomato paste. Now you can use jarred tomato paste. I just prefer to use this kind. I'm just gonna give it a good squeeze, um, maybe about one to two tablespoons. And now I'm gonna add all these bell peppers and the carrots. Okay. Almost got them all here. Not quite tall enough to slide them off the board into there. Okay, so now that we've got those all in, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of parsley. About a teaspoon or so of basil and oregano. And my husband doesn't like a lot of spice, so just a tiny bit of cayenne pepper. And the last thing we're gonna add at is a whole bag of bone broth. Now in here we have about probably four cups. So I'm gonna pour this entire bag in here. You can check out that video as well on how to make homemade bone broth. And I'm just gonna give it a good stir and then I'm gonna cook it on medium with the lid on until my carrots are tender. Okay guys, this has been simmering for about 20 minutes on medium low. I'm gonna give you a shot at what it looks like. It's 
completely ready to enjoy. This is also acceptable on my program for all of you who are um, doing that. And don't forget to drink your Trimbolic 30 to 60 minutes before you have dinner. You can order that on my website, briamorris.com. This is going to tone and tighten everything. No jiggles by June.